All right, this is topic eight, uh, application of the PE formula. It's going to go on page um, let's do this on, I know this is going to be weird, but let's do this on page 23. So I want all, because this is going to be about a half page, topic nine will be about a half page, topic seven should be on 24. So you'll have the whole, um, this whole topic, or so this whole idea of potential energy all on two pages. But first, let's do a quick review. No need to write here, just think about it. Uh, where is potentially the greatest if the mass is the same? The potential energy is the same for all of them. They are the same height, and they are the same mass, which means that it takes the same amount of work to lift them all to that spot. So this one's the hardest one. It takes more force, but it takes less distance. So the work is the same as this one, you have the help of a ramp, but it takes you a longer distance with less force. So work in every example is exactly the same. It takes the same amount of technical work in physics to lift all of these objects up, and once they get there, they all have the same kinetic energy. So work equals change in potential energy. One more question. Now which object has the most potential energy? Object B. It has, if this is a roller coaster, more, 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 more max, losing, 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 losing potential energy as you go down. All right. One more practice. You should be able to do this without my help. So solve for potential energy if the height equals 2.5 meters. All right, here's your answer. This is the work, I think the current world record might have been broken, it's a couple years old. But potential energy, first you should make your list. For this topic, the formulas are gonna be straight up, so make your list every time. Gravity equals 9.8, mass equals 2.5, oh, height, height equals 2.5 meters, and this is our question. So do this every time, and this is actually one of the easiest topics because I'm not, there's no tricky stuff to worry about. It's just using the formulas. So potential energy equals mass times gravity times height. 263.5 times 9.8 times 2.5. And the answer is about 6,455 joules. So you should be able to do this right now. Now let's look at some extra application. So uh, don't write this down, but just draw the picture with me. There'll be two examples for you to draw, I think. If we have a person who wants to jump into a pool, and um, we know the height is six meters. We know there's 3,600 joules of potential energy when they're standing up there waiting to fall. The question is, what is the mass of the diver in kilograms? So mass is our question mark. Formula potential energy equals mass times gravity times height, which is mass times 9.8 times 6 equals 3600. So divide by 6 equals, I don't know, hold on, 3600 divided, it's like 600 I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. 3600, oops, I see, 3612 divided by 6 equals okay, 600 equals mass times 9.8 and now we have to do one more step now let's just divide by 9.8 and we'll know what mass is and when you divide this 600 divided by 9.8 you get 
61.2 kilograms. So that's one way that I'll ask you to apply the formula uh, in a different way. The next one is draw this example. I think this is our last example. Yes, this is it. Now on your page, on page 23, it should look like this. This is going to be topic 8. This is going to be topic 9. So, first question is, here's a backpack on a table. It's 0.8 meters up. It's a 2 kilogram backpack. This is before. And then Coach V says, hey, can you take that bag off your desk, please? And you move it down to the, a chair next to you, which is 0.5 meters off the ground. I want to know how much of the potential energy change, number one, and how much potential energy is left as it sits on the chair. So there's one thing you can do. You can find potential energy before and potential energy after, and then solve for the difference. Or we know that change in potential energy equals mass times gravity times, well, in most examples, it will just be how much did the height change? Because we don't really change the mass of things when we lift them. So often, you can find the change in potential energy by mass times gravity times a change in height. Mass equals 2. G equals 9.8. Change in height equals the difference between 0.5 and 0.8, negative 0 0.3 meters. So now we can solve right here. Two times nine point eight times zero point three negative. And this equals five point eight eight joules negative because height went down. How much potential energy is left as it's sitting on the chair? Well, that's just mass is 2. Height is 0 0.5. G is 9.8. 2 times 9.8 times 0 0.5 equals... That one's this one. Equals 9.8 joules, because you doubled it with a height, and then you cut it in half. So that's this one. And I'll just be asking you to use the formula in different ways. One, probably just one question for topic three. Oops.